Hey friends and family, hope everybody's doing well and that you're, you're, you're not finding it hard to live your best life. Um, cause for some of us, it can be difficult sometimes. Um, I felt like I got really lucky today. Uh, I took the Buick into Bullhead to the brake masters that they have there. I have found them to be um, very reliable and honest and, and, and they do good work. Um, and, uh, you know, I was one due for an oil change, which I, since I have a, a long drive back and forth to work, um, I need an oil change frequently. Um, Go through those little miles real quick when you're driving 140 miles a day going back and forth to work. Um, and then, um, you know, and then I had, had to tell about my, we're having a, a starting issue with it not wanting to start up. Um, and I was pretty sure about one thing, that the problem wasn't the starter. Um, because the starter... Usually when a starter is going bad on a vehicle and you go to try and start the vehicle, you'll hear a clicking sound, you know. Um, so, you know, just click, click, click. And it, instead of um, it trying to turn over, there's no woo, woo, woo or anything like that. It's a clicking noise. Um, you know, like a clack, 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 or it's something like that. Um, be believe me, I haven't had that many problem enough times. I know that noise when I hear it. <laughs> Um, but the, the, the way the sound was, was, to, was kind of more of a lack of sound, um, and just, um, not, don't answer phone numbers I don't recognize. <laughs> so, um, but anyhow, you, you know, just a lack of sound, you know, lights coming up and then, you know, uh, of course a check engine light and. You know that would you know but basically really a lack of something happening you know a lack of it doing what it's supposed to do altogether so my um expectation was either the battery which wasn't an old battery i just replaced it earlier this year um was bad something was wrong with it or it was going bad um or it's not getting charged properly that there's something wrong with my alternator and I need a new alternator. Those, those were my, my top two suspicions and, and the suspicion I was hoping for, and this might sound crazy was just let it be the battery. Please just let it be the battery. Don't let it be a, you know, a, a thing where we got to make a serious repair. Um, there's a, bad battery you, you pop the old battery out and you pop a new one in and and yeah batteries for our car vehicles are, are are not cheap but that would still be cheaper than needing a new alternator uh <laughs> so so when you know they got got it they got it in there and, and whatnot and the guy comes out and tells me Hey, it's the battery. The battery's bad, and and uh, you know, and it, and it's under warranty. Yes. <laughs> so under warranty meant I didn't have to cough up money for a new battery. Yay me for once, you know, and uh, you know, just the money for the oil change that I knew I was gonna have to pay for, and. Um, and I uh, needed an air filter replaced because I live on a dirt road, so my filters get nasty quickly. Um, so, so I was just like, that is, you just, you just, I, I, I don't even, I don't know how. That's just, just like a, a huge relief, you know, because there's so many other things. Sometimes it, sometimes it's just like one thing after another after another goes wrong and and they're often things that i'm i are either you know i don't have the money to deal with so i gotta keep putting it off or like my awning at the back of the house that is in need of repair for the carport at the back of the house i don't know when i'm gonna get to fix that or if i'm gonna get to fix it how long that's you know um so 
and the tree. Since I spent so much time in Bullhead City today, I'm not going to try and get out there and mess with the tree today. But I already have a chainsaw from when Big Mama fell in the back. It's not a big chainsaw, which is which I could probably use a, a you know a good sized one for this. Um, but I can't hold a good sized one. When I went looking to pick out a chainsaw, when Big Mama fell in the back, um, one of the things I did was like try and pick up a decently sized chainsaw. And, and and they're heavy. <laughs> they're really heavy. And 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 what I don't want to do is be trying to cut up a tree, and because of the weight of the chainsaw, cut off my leg. So we went with something that I knew I could handle easily, which was you know like the smallest was a, that was available. But um. Uh, yeah, I, I, until, you, you know, unless, you know, I just, I just, I'm not somebody who's ever had a lot of upper body strength. So we had to go with what I could handle and know that I, what I knew I could handle safely and not possibly lose a limb. Yay. So oh, that's, that's a good day for me, you know, run, get my oil changed and fi find out, you know, the problem I'm having with my car is something relatively minor for once. So, yeah. <laughs> so, so, um, feeling, feeling blessed and, uh, still working on achieving, living my best life. And, uh, you know, hope you're feeling blessed today too. And that, you know, you're, you have, peace and that's that inner peace is something I'm, I'm hunting for too so if you ain't there yet don't feel bad a lot of us ain't there yet so but um I still wish it for you and is and for myself so so peace we love you and we miss you families and family and just just hang on hang on with the rest of us we're gonna get through it and peace